So this is my next post-apocalyptic build. This is a FX Ford Mustang Cobra 2. Uh, I don't know if it's a Mark 2 or 2, it just says 2 on the instruction manual. Unfortunately I don't have the box. This was a kit I bought for eBay and it seems like a very old kit. Um, it does go together pretty much like a snap tight kit. Although it also says in the instructions non-motorised and it has a compartment for a motor in the back and a battery area. I'll just quickly show you that like you can just see here. That's the place where the battery is supposed to go. So I presume there's another version of this you can put a little motor in there and a battery. Although it does include working steering which is nice. Um, overall, like I said, it's, it goes together like a snap tight kit. Um, Fairly all right. It has a few different options, like you can actually put headlights in here instead of the headlight covers, which when the camera wants to focus. But I went with the headlight covers because I'll probably reuse the lenses from the headlights and maybe put them on the roof. Uh, I'm still kind of debating what I want to do with this. One option is to do it, build it like the Death Race BMW. Um, if you haven't seen that, there's a quick image here. So yeah, that would mean chopping the roof in half and just making a platform and putting this orc machine gun that I have sitting there. Another option would be either to mount it here and leave the roof alone or mount it on the front. But I'm still not too sure if I want to mount a weapon to this vehicle or not. Because I try and balance um, vehicles with weapons mounted to them and weapon vehicles without um, weapons to them. Because obviously, you know, in the apocalypse it's going to be hard to get ammo. And do you want a fixed place machine gun? Um, they're a lot harder to aim as opposed to say a machine gun that's controlled by the passenger. Um, that being said, I was also reading, I think it's Freeman War. Oh, just one second. Another idea was I was reading the comic book version of Freeway Fighter, uh, and in that, the character drives a race car. It's been converted for the apocalypse, and I also like that that idea of maybe having this converted to a scout car for the apocalypse, and it's really only meant for short journeys and just lightly armored. But I guess as I progress, we'll find out. And also, I haven't bought the headlight, the brake lights, because I don't have them repainting this yet. Obviously, it's molded in yellow, so it'd be easier to paint it yellow. I also do have the gra the decals for this but again it's an old kit and the decals look pretty unworn. I do want to try and put them on but they most likely won't. Uh, I'm not too bothered if they crack because obviously it'll give the, the car some age and like oh yeah the decals are peeling off um, but it's if they just don't work at all then obviously I don't want to make a mess. Um, I can deal with them not fully going on and cracking and falling apart because you could just make that look like obviously the decals have worn off of the car but if um, they won't line up properly and stuff then obviously it'll ruin the look of the car because it would look a bit weird with like a racing stripe that goes down the sides and stuff but I guess we'll find that out as I progress so I'll see you in the next clip so here we are with a bit more progress on the FX Mustang I'm deciding to call this one Razor which is inspired by Razor's Edge from Carmageddon, one of the old classic car combat games, which I don't think we get that many anymore. I mean, I think they've done a couple of new Carmageddons and a new Twisted Metal. But I think the latest and closest one was probably the Mad Max game. But anyway, yeah, that's a race car that's got a lot of spikes in the front. So I decided to kind of copy the name and go with a different look. Initially, car and, um, Carmageddon, the Razor's Edge has just got this long strip of spikes that goes from the hood to the roof. And it's in the central line. Um, I've just obviously went different with mine. So let's get the camera to focus. So I'm going to walk you through how I built this. So obviously just cut up some styrene to make the uh, triangles that go on the wheels and same with the tubes and some diamond plate just add on there for makeshift repairs. Um, these spike strips at the front on the hood uh, when the camera wants to focus are just some L-shaped styrene you can get a hold of. Just cut the length and then obviously cut some triangles at the top. Um, same with the window ones. The window is actually designed. The window design is actually inspired by uh, Gasland's build by GH Miniatures. If you like Gasland stuff, I'd definitely recommend checking him out. 
Um, he did a similar car, I think it was a GT40 with a similar windshield and I kind of like the idea so I copied it. Um, just taking some of this styrene here, cut to length and cut some triangles out. Um, I've riveted it, or added rivets to the bits of plastic here and there and these are just some Zane industry rivets, just drilled some holes in and glued these things in place. For drilling the holes in and the bullet holes I used a little hand drill like this. I've got a different size piece on here. Obviously I used a smaller drill bit to drill this hole in. This is more for this one here. Got a few different sizes of drill pieces, it's just good for making holes and such. Um, then I took a hobby knife and just kind of roughed up the holes just to make them look a bit more like a bullet hole instead of just a smooth hole going through. Um, the spoilers are completely scratch built from styrene and design myself. Um, I tried looking for inspiration but I just couldn't see any designs I liked so I just kind of just made them up. Um, drilled these holes in in the back because these were filled in so I just drilled them in with a the, uh, hand drill again. Time consuming thing but well worth it for the look. Um, yeah so the damage on the sides here for that I used a Windproof lighter, this is mine, which looks like a mini blowtorch. Just heated up the plastic and then using the back of tools just to push in to make dents. Although for these specific scratch marks and such, I used, I can grab it, new metal ruler. Just heated up the plastic and pushed it in and dragged it across. Um, just to give these scratch marks like this thing's been trading paint with a vehicle and just side wiping and scraping across. Um, just using the corners too, just to go over the top and scratch off the plastic, as you can kind of see. I also used the back of my hobby knife. At the same time as well, there's my small little file, just to scratch up and make it look as if oh, it's not painted at the moment. When I paint it and add some like metal colours and such, and paint and that, such that, it will look spectacular, or should do, that's the plan. <laughs> um... Yeah, it's pretty much that for this. Uh, I'll show the interior because I forgot to show you the interior last time. So the interior is pretty basic. Uh, I've not really done much to it myself. Um, apart from obviously add these diamond plates because you can see the doors. Like the back side of the door. But yeah, the interior is pretty much the same. I, I'm thinking of possibly adding a bar here. Just because these two things are loose and... Yeah, you can kind of see it when you look on the body that the uh, this sits a bit too low. I am putting the glass back in the front and the back at windows, but um, yeah. Uh, another thing I did do with this thing was because this is meant to be a motorised kit, like I said before, the back wheels have got some play in them for the motor, and so I've had to put spaces in the back just so the back wheels wouldn't go back and forth. And they're pretty solid now, and they will roll freely. Um... So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go and paint this now and hopefully use the old decals, which uh, this is an old kit, this is the old decal sheet. Hopefully these will still work, but I'm not really, yeah, I'm not holding much faith that these are going to hold up. But I'm going to try and get them to work, because I really like the idea of making this look like an old racing car that's been turned into an apocalyptic scout car. But if they work, they work, if they don't work, and I'll just paint these stripes or something on them myself, and maybe I'll just hand letter and the numbers a bit like um, Tallahassee from Zombieland uh, or something like that but we'll find out in the next clip so I'll see you in the next clip so here we are finally with the uh, finished model this took a lot longer to get done uh, unfortunately I painted a black wash on it and it just went wrong and I had to completely strip the paint and start all over and just cause the long boring process of stripping the paint I kind of got distracted by just working on other projects which is why this video is a little later than it should have been um, pretty much I did get the original decals to work but because um, I used a black wash that was a bit too dark it just painted the whole car black um, I used to make my own little washes up but uh, it's a bit too hard like you know figuring the right mix because sometimes you can end up making them too dark but I like to add them at the end just because it makes the car look a little dirty and more well used. Um, but I did start using Citadel Null Oil, which is a good wash. Uh, unfortunately, I ran out. 
I did buy some on the internet, but I didn't check what I bought and I got gloss instead, which is kind of the reason why this wash on this didn't work, because I basically poured half of this into there and then added some black paint to try and take down the gloss. And I had a bit too much black paint and it just ended up being black paint. So when I painted this to give it a nice dark dirt wash, the paint was just it just turned it black. And it was just no good. So I had to strip the paint using paint stripper and literally sanding the paint off itself. So I could repaint the whole thing. Um, unfortunately, the original decals were obviously already on there and just gone. But luckily enough I did have some spare decals and enough ones I could kind of make up to look like racing decals. These are decals from the Intellery truck kits. Um, Intellery do a couple of truck accessory kits that I bought and they come with some decals. So I've just tried to pick out all the car related ones and just stick them on this. Um, ironically the number came off a tank. Um, it was actually 22C which I presume was 22 company. Um, the same tank I used for the tank car that I built. Here's a quick pick of that. So yeah, the, the tank I built that tank car out of, um, the decals became quite useful for this. So yeah, overall I'm quite happy with the way this turned out. Um, major setback with the wash, but after some more work, I got it to work and it really looked good. Um, for the side damage here, because this kit's not very detailed, I did want to rip some of these panels off because this is just light sheet metal as it's a race car. But um, obviously there's no detail behind that so that it really wouldn't look good. So I sort of a dent in the panels and doing this pet, uh, custom like scratched off paint sort of effect. For this what I did is I painted the whole car yellow and then went over it with like a dull yellow. Um, I think I used the sand colour actually. I think all of it. So look. Yeah, I used this um, yeah, sand yellow, just so it looked like the primer for the paint. And then I went over that with a silver, and then over that with a rust colour. And then just slightly rubbed off the paint until you got the yellow again. Because I basically used a big brush like this, and literally painted the entire panel, and the door, all these colours. And then just lightly rubbed off the paint to give you this effect that the paint's been rubbed off to the bare metal in some places and the rust has kind of taken over or just the primer in fact this is actually the bare plastic because i rubbed it a little too hard but it really adds to the effect that this is had a lot of side swipe damage done to it and the paint's flaked off as it's gone along and it's rusted up um, obviously the decals have rubbed off here and there was a decal here that's completely rubbed off when you see the other side you see that decal survived there um, pretty much the paint that's got into the grooves that I'd already done in, as you'd saw him before, and all the dents, it's kind of pulled in those areas, but the rest of the areas it's kind of come off when I've been rubbing it off. And it just really adds to the effect that the thing's been scraping along its side with other cars and such. Um, and I think it really just sells that effect that it's been crashing into other cars a lot, as there's no real damage anywhere else. Again, this is meant to more be like a scout car. I don't think this one would like fight it out with other cars and really fare that much because it's a race car. It's going to be very light and just built for speed. If it got hit once, it'd probably be just totaled. Um, hence why I didn't also put a machine gun on it because I just didn't think it was really built for combat. It's more built for speed. So the idea is you'd probably use this to go and send messages between outposts or settlements or maybe deliver a small cargo like a box of ammo or something like well a crate of ammo but yeah overall I'm quite happy with the way this thing turned out um, hope the camera's not, not going out of focus there another kind of detail here is this light here uh, I did paint these lights on the sprue and then when I took the light off the sprue this one jumped off and disappeared so just because I didn't have the lens anymore I drilled a hole in, just used some copper wiring, paint them white and we've made it look like this lens has been smashed at some point and obviously being the apocalypse it's not like you can go and get another one so they've just had to do without another thing i did do was this lettering on the the tires now originally the tires were just going to be just black but i noticed that you had raised lettering so i just decided to paint them which was 
bit of a painstaking process, but I think it really paid off in the end. And uh, if I see any other cars that I've got with these raised lettering on the tyres for the future builds, I think I'll be painting those because it really just makes those tyres pop out a bit more. Plus, I really like white lettering on tyres. It's just and white walls as well. I like those kind of tyres. I know some people don't, but I do. So yeah. Uh, also, I did some panels to the exhaust to make it look like the exhausts have been welded up over time because obviously they'd go quite easily but you're not going to get a brand new exhaust um, so that's pretty much it this one so yeah hope you enjoyed as usual there'll be a nice little slideshow some better images at the end uh, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one